All right, this room, the sheetrock was already installed. I'm going to basically show you how to put the tape coat. The tape coat is the most important coat. If you tape right, the rest of the process is real simple. So basically what we're going to want to do here, because at the end of the day, we want this to disappear 100%. We're going to use plenty of spackle. We're going to take it, and we're just going to put a lot of spackle on the seam. There's nothing fancy about it. The more spackle I get on there, the better. I want to make sure that there's no voids like you see right here. We want it nice and heavy. Okay, we're going to spackle all the way down the seam. And now uh, we're using a light spackle here. It's a little bit easier to sand and it goes on a little bit quicker. It also dries faster. You can use the green. We usually use the blue for all three coats. Some guys just use the blue on the final two coats and they use the green for the first coat. All right, we're gonna put the cape. You'll see there's a little line in this cape to bend it. We're gonna put that line right on the seam of the, where the sheetrock, new sheetrock meets the old sheetrock. Now, if I was doing this not for the purpose of an instructional video. I would go all the way down the wall. I wouldn't cut the tape here. I would go one long piece. But to save a little time for this video, I'm just gonna do the one spot. I'm gonna hold this in place. And all I do is I pull out all of the excess spackle. So I told you to put it on real heavy. Now I'm telling you to get it all off. You don't want any extra spackle in there. Okay, get every bit of that spackle out. We want this tape as tight as possible. We want no air bubbles and no pockets. We're going to come right into the corner. And there you go. Our tape is on. There's no sanding necessary between now and the next coat. You want to let this dry for at least 24 hours. I'm going to do one corner for you because they're a little bit trickier. On the corner, you want to do the same idea, except you have to do it on each side and get that spackle on there. Once again, I'm putting it on real heavy, but as you notice, after I put it on heavy, I'm going to take most of it off. With my tape, crease it. Put it in the corner, like so. Get to the top, I'm going to rip it off, all the excess. Okay, my tape's in. And now, very simple, same process. I hold it down on the bottom with the one, bring it up. Bring it back down. Once again, I'm going to bring it up. Now you want to kind of work your way down. The bottom is not as important to be perfect because I'm going to put a three quarter inch baseboard in here. You want to make sure there's no bubbles at the top. Our tape's going to be super tight. I'm going to show you in the other room a wall that's already taped. And then after we put the second and third coat in, our next video is going to talk about how to prep interior walls to make them perfect prior to painting, uh, which we're going to do after we do our second and third coat. When we're completely done, you will not be able to tell that there's new to old sheet rocks. Let's go in the other room and show you the whole wall tape. And that will be the end of this video.